So let's say you just launched your WordPress website with Hostinger, and I mean, that is great, but maybe you've landed on the WordPress dashboard and are just thinking, okay, what do I do now? And are just feeling kind of lost. Well, rest assured, you are definitely in the right place because WordPress is a really amazing tool and combined with Hostinger's features, it's incredibly powerful. And it might seem like a lot at first, trust me, I know, but I will be your guide today to get you really comfortable and show you exactly where to find all the essentials. So let's dive in. Okay, so first off, let's explore the features that Hostinger integrates directly into your WordPress dashboard. And you will find the Hostinger section right on the left-hand menu, right over here. And this is basically your command center for managing many aspects of your site and hosting all in one place. And you will see uh, all these different tabs like onboarding tools and AI content creators. So let's just take a quick look at what we have here. And if you're brand new to all this, the onboarding tab is gonna be like your best friend because here you'll find an essential setup checklist to make sure you cover all the basics of your website. And also over here, now you can see on the screen, you'll see links to video tutorials on WordPress from Hosting Your Academy, like, you know, customize your WordPress website with Gutenberg, which will teach you everything you need to know about website customization and how to edit any page or article. And if you do not find something that you really need over here, you can always check out the buttons down below at the bottom linking directly to our knowledge base and hosting our tutorials. Okay guys, now let's click over to the tools tab, which is right over here. And this area is actually packed with really useful utilities. You can easily check your current WordPress and PHP versions from right there and also update them if needed with just a single click, keeping your site secure and really fast. Now, if you need to work on your site privately, all you have to do is just toggle the maintenance mode on or off really easily right here. And we even include a really handy bypass link if you need to see the site while it's down for others. And there are also some security options here, including the very useful force HTTPS toggle to ensure your visitors have a really secure connection on your site, which is super, super useful. And Hostinger also offers the AI content creator, which you can find on this tab right over here. Now here you can generate drafts for posts, you know, forms, or even entire pages. Just choose what you need, select a tone of voice, decide on the content length right here, describe what it's about, and add some focus keywords to guide the AI and make the content really SEO friendly. And this is a really fantastic way to really kickstart your writing, so make sure to give it a try. And don't worry, there is an open guide link right there if you need any tips on how to actually use it with the best practices. And speaking of AI help, another really essential tool Hostinger provides right within WordPress is Cody, which is our AI assistant. Now see that little ask AI button in the lower right corner? Well, just click that and Cody pops right up. And it literally knows all the context of your website and can guide you through almost anything, which is super cool. So really don't hesitate to ask it how to perform a task or just troubleshoot an issue. Cody will point you in the right direction. Okay, now let's quickly look back at the standard WordPress dashboard itself. Now the main areas you'll use most often here are posts for blog articles, then pages for static content like about or contact and appearance where you will manage your site's look. And also customizing themes also happens here, by the way. Now when creating posts and pages, you'll use the built-in Gutenberg editor. In order to build your paragraphs, titles, images, and everything else, you will be using Gutenberg. And it's basically a block-based system that's really quite intuitive and easy to use. And as I mentioned before, we have a complete guide to get you really comfortable with Gutenberg. So just head back to the video tutorial section and check it out for yourself if you find this whole thing a little bit confusing and need a little bit more in-depth guide. Also, looking back at the WordPress dashboard really takes some time here to explore the main WordPress tools and settings as they contain important site-wide configuration like permalinks, reading settings, and many others. And I know it can seem like a bit much and a bit overwhelming at first, but it's really good practice to see what's where and what's out there in general, and then you will get the hand of everything in no time. Okay, now guys, let's jump out of the WordPress dashboard for a little bit and head over to your main hosting account area called HPanel. 
Now you can really easily get to HPanel by just clicking the go to Hostinger button on the right side of the screen when you have your Hostinger plugin open in the WordPress dashboard or by just logging it in to directly by going to hostinger.com. Now, this is Hostinger's own custom control panel and it's designed to be super practical, putting everything related to your hosting account and websites neatly in one place, like a central hub basically. Now, when you manage a specific website in HPanel, you'll find some really crucial tools here. Now, the most commonly used are managing backups, handling website migrations, and quickly accessing your database. Also, your file manager and other tools as well, and other configurations that you will be using. And also there is a dedicated performance tab where you can manage things like object cache, check page speed insights, and configure the CDN to make your site load faster globally. Now within HPanel, if you actually navigate to the WordPress section in the sidebar and select overview, you'll find a dashboard that is specifically tailored for your WordPress site management. And it really conveniently brings a lot of different controls directly into HPanel. So here you'll find just a bunch of core and performance settings, also security settings and update management as well. And you can even see your current PHP and WordPress versions and easily just jump into your WordPress admin dashboard using this button right here that you're seeing on the screen. Also within HPanel's WordPress management area, make sure to check out the recommended installation section as Hostinger really often suggests great plugins and themes right here to enhance your site overall. And you will notice the Hostinger Amazon Affiliate Connector plugin recommended right over here. Now, if you're interested in Amazon Affiliate Marketing, you can always install it really, really easily actually. And we have a whole video explaining how to use it. So make sure to check it out. You'll see it right here and the link is also in the description below if you are interested. Now there's another crucial thing that I really want to show you guys. So up here you will find the security tab and you can set up auto updates for your website's WordPress version, also plugins and themes, which is actually really crucial for keeping your website out of harm's way if something does go wrong. And if something does actually go wrong, there's even an AI troubleshooter available to help you diagnose issues. Like if you were to lose, for example, access to your WordPress dashboard, you just have to come right here and use the AI troubleshooter and it will just fix the situation for you. Well, most of the time. All right, well, that was a whirlwind tour of WordPress and HPanel. And even though we haven't covered every single inch of the WordPress dashboard or HPanel, I hope you feel just a little bit more confident navigating your new site on Hostinger. So go ahead, dive in, just click around, explore those Hostinger plugins tabs and the HPanel dashboard as well. Also make sure to check out our AI tools if you need any help, because trust me, they can really be lifesaver and if this guide was helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this. And I also really recommend checking out this Gutenberg tutorial video that I talked about before, but it's honestly, it has a really detailed walkthrough for Gutenberg. And hey, if you're looking to get started or upgrade, don't forget to use the code WP10 for a discount on hosting your WordPress hosting. You'll find the link for that in the description below the video. Now, thank you guys so much for watching and I wish you happy building and I'll see you in the next video.